Okay, so now we've looked at how AI is currently being used in the construction sector. Let's go through some challenges to implementing it further. We're going to individually go through a series of challenges AI faces to taking on a bigger and bigger role in the construction sector. The first one is a lack of useful data. Now, projects generate a lot of information. For example, a Earthworks project will have survey data, there'll be historic rainfall data, there'll be data like the number of people on site. But ultimately, if we're going to use AI to improve decision-making processes, improve project outcomes, we need useful data. So we need data that reflects current project progress, future project risks, current project expenditure. Ultimately, we need to collect data that matters. Now, data that matters is data that informs decision making. And with each project being unique and different, with specific contextual nuances, ultimately, to train something like a generative AI on a set of data so it can make useful predictions about the future is always going to be a challenge if we don't have a lack of useful data. Data that has been used in the past to make better decisions that we can train the AI on. That's a critical point with training any large language model like ChatGBT is you need a data set that's mapped to outcomes to train it on to show it what good decisions were in the past and how these map to project outcomes. And ultimately, in the construction sector, there's a lot of data. There's not a lot of useful data. The other issue we have is a lot of the data quality. So the data might be in the wrong format. It might not be measuring the specific thing we need we might not be able to map it against project outcomes. So to train any generative AI like ChatGBT, we need to be able to train it on a data set and show it the trends in the data and how it maps to correct outcomes. The second issue is that construction project management involves massive decisions. Projects are expensive, they're disruptive, they take years. And ultimately, we rely on the expert judgment and ability to understand nuanced context that humans have. So for example, if someone's got 30 years of experience in the construction industry and they've managed the feasibility study, they've gone through all the data, they've come to the conclusion that proceeding with a project is a good idea based on a cost-benefit ratio and all the data behind it, and they can explain exactly how they've arrived at a decision, that answer is going to give you a lot more confidence than an AI simply spitting out a ratio saying, here's the decision we've made, the project's profitable, it should go ahead, but they couldn't clearly articulate or explain how they've arrived at that decision. Ultimately, we're going to trust the judgment of the person who's experienced, has made good decisions like this in the past, and is going to be responsible for this massive decision. The big problem with AI in the construction sector is often we have to make massive decisions. And are we, at this point in time, willing to trust something like AI to make them for us? And it's not just money decisions, it's safety decisions. So deciding if a specific activity is safe to proceed with based on a risk assessment, would we ever really be willing to outsource that decision to AI? I don't know, potentially in the future, the way it currently stands is we trust individuals who've had experience and proven they could do these things in the past. The next challenge to using AI in construction management is the uniqueness of each project. Each project has a specific context, different to other projects, and there's always specific nuances that are going to affect how we choose to manage the project. By definition, a project is a temporary endeavor in a unique environment. It's something that hasn't been done before. That's why, and this sort of relates back to the first point I was making about the lack of quality data. Sure, there's lots of information available about a project, but is it the information we need and is it tailored to our project? The nuance, the context, the specifics of the project make it hard to create generic responses or generic direction about what we should do. That's why we need to address the specifics of a project when we're managing it. Building a two-lane highway in the middle of the city is completely different to building the exact same road in a different location. Maybe the biggest challenge on one project is disrupting stakeholders, when the biggest challenge on another project is the environmental impact on native fauna. Again, every project is completely unique and we need to address the specifics of the project, which is difficult to do if we don't have a lot of high quality tailored data that's mapped 
to correct decisions made in the past where we can train an AI model on. Setting up any new sort of AI system or software for that system for that fact requires high initial investment. It requires money and time to set up. Without really good proven use cases of how AI is currently being used to manage projects better, there's always going to be the question of investing our time to set up an AI application for a project. Is it going to yield benefits? With that same amount of time and money, would you be better off investing it into planning the project earlier on or setting up an AI system? And as currently there are no really, really good use cases of AI being fundamental to construction management, there's always going to be a level of uncertainty around exploring it and implementing it on your project. The next challenge I see for AI in the construction sector is resistance to change. The construction sector is notoriously bad at adopting new technologies and changing the way we do things. Why is that the case? Because partly because construction management is a big exercise in managing risk and uncertainty. Projects are temporary endeavors in uncertain environments. There's lots and lots of things that can go wrong. On top of that, we've got an industry with relentless competition between contractors and razor-thin margins. The attitude of any good construction manager is they're thinking about what could go wrong and what could they do about it. That's the attitude most construction managers have. They're not necessarily thinking about disruptive innovation. So there's always going to be some level of resistance to change if you're worrying about what could go wrong, which is obviously a super important thing for construction managers to do. There's always going to be more uncertainty rolling out new technologies, and as anyone who's worked in the construction sector long enough knows that things can go super badly. So we want to try and avoid these negative consequences, so we're always going to be hesitant about change and implementing new things. The next one we've got to think about a regulatory and ethical concern. If we're outsourcing decision making, quality control checks, things like that to AI, are we going to be confident that the AI is working as intended? For example, say we want to use AI to complete a pre-pour inspection as part of a massive structure. Are we really going to be confident that the AI is going to correctly identify all the issues in the same way? that a skilled civil engineer performing that same inspection and the reinforcement would be able to. And on top of that, if something goes wrong and they miss a critical piece, who is accountable? Who's to blame? Is the software developer liable? Is the person who ordered the software liable? It's an important point. A lot of about construction management is passing on risk and responsibility. If we're outsourcing really, really important tasks to an AI system, are they actually going to be liable for it or can they be liable for it? On top of that, we have to worry about some of the ethical concerns. So whether we outsource information to an AI system, do they then have access to all our data? Who owns the data? There's privacy issues with that. Then also if the AI model has certain biases built into it, are we sure we understand what those biases are and are we sure we understand how the AI is making decisions? Ultimately, a lot of it comes down to accountability and liability. So are we going to be be confident with an AI making super important decisions that could potentially have million dollar, $10 million or $100 million impacts? There are some important roadblocks that we need to consider when rolling out AI in construction management, but I'm sure over time these issues are slowly but surely going to be addressed by people like us who are working on these problems and trying to understand the role that AI is going to have in construction management. None of these problems I see as showstoppers or roadblocks. I think it's just a matter of time for we understand what AI is good at what its limitations are, and the role it's going to play in shaping the future of our industry.